are a lot of scary and unexplained things out there in the universe, including some terrifying worlds with conditions beyond our imagination. From a terrifying world that rains molten glass, and a world where ice on its surface is actually burning, to another planet that's a big ball of lightning. We put together some of the most nightmarish worlds out there in the cosmos for your enjoyment. Are you afraid of the dark? Then TRES 2B, 702 light years from Earth, will terrify anyone who suffers from being trapped in complete darkness. This gas giant, as big as Jupiter, is blacker than coal and reflects just 1% of the sunlight that hits it. And it's a big mystery of what's causing it to be so dark. TRES 2B orbits only 4.8 million kilometers or just 3 million miles from its star, which heats the planet to a toasty 982 degrees centigrade. But researchers found it's actually not completely pitch black, but it's so hot that it emits a faint red glow like burning embers in a campfire. But this isn't the only planet with crazy storms. There's a distant Neptune-sized gas giant named Hat P11b that's about 122 light years away, which has lightning storms that would get even Dr. Frankenstein excited. But that's not all. Radio telescopes picked up an eerie signal coming from the planet, and astronomers think these radio waves are coming from these blindingly intense lightning storms. Just how scary and intense? Imagine a lightning storm on Earth that managed to cover the entire planet. And even then, it would only produce a signal about 1% as strong as the one coming from Hat P11b. If the exoplanet's lightning were more similar to Earth's, it would take over 3 million flashes per square kilometer every hour to produce the radio signals that researchers recorded from Hat P11b. Speaking of Frankenstein, NASA calls this planet the ultimate Frankenstein creation, but we're not exactly sure why. It was given the name WASP-12b and will be destroyed by its parent star in just 10 million years, a fleeting moment in space-time. The star that WASP-12b orbits is so hot that it's tearing apart the planet's atmosphere, which is composed of atomic hydrogen and helium. Because the planet is tidal locked and combined with the extreme gravitational pull from its star, it causes massive tidal forces that are stretching the planet into the shape of an egg. The temperature on this sizzling gas giant that's twice the size of Jupiter is a scorching 2,210 degrees centigrade, and its surface is said to be as black as fresh asphalt. Not a pretty place at all. This next planet lies 30 light years away from Earth and has one of the most bizarre and unimaginable conditions. It's called GJ436b, and it sits just 6.4 million kilometers from its star. Compare that to the planet Mercury, which is 57.9 kilometers away from our Sun. Its temperature is around 438 degrees centigrade, which is certainly hot enough to evaporate water. But the really strange thing is that the planet's water remains in solid form. Like something right out of a science fiction horror movie, GJ436b is a planet of burning ice. You're probably asking yourself right now, how is it possible that ice can burn? Well, it's not the kind of ice we have here on Earth, but something exotic called Ice 7, which has a denser and more crystalline structure. Scientists believe this ice formed due to the strong gravitational force at the planet's core when temperatures are extremely high. Strange things happen in the Twilight Zone, but even stranger than that is the planet named 55 Cancri E, or otherwise known as Jensen. The planet sits about 40 light years away from Earth and is made up of one third diamond. This is most likely due to the planet's atmosphere, that is mostly carbon, allowing heat and pressure from both its star and its interior that compresses the planet's mass into diamond. Someone actually valued the planet at $26.9 nonillion. It's so close to its star that water cannot exist in a liquid state but instead in what's called supercritical state, a strange behavior where the water is between a liquid and a gas. Whether on the incredibly hot side of the planet where temperatures soar to a crispy 2204.4 degrees centigrade or in its dark twilight zone, there is no chance that anything could survive. And for added spookiness, 
the Hubble telescope just detected what could be hydrogen cyanide oozing out from below the planet's surface, resulting in a superheated poisonous fluid covering some of its surface. Now imagine for a moment if the sun's light and heat were amplified a thousand times on Earth for just one day, and then went back to normal temperatures again. Well, there is actually a planet just like this out there labelled HD 8606b that's part of a binary star system. It has one of the most elongated orbits of any exoplanet yet found. HD 8606b spends most of its time around 127.1 million kilometres away from its star. But every 111 days, the planet whips around its star at just 4.5 million kilometres away. The results of the planet getting so close to its star so quickly causes temperatures to skyrocket from the already hot 526 degrees centigrade to 1226 degrees centigrade in just six hours. All that energy creates one of the fiercest storms in the galaxy, with shrieking winds at over 702 kilometers per hour around the planet for a few hours, and then dying out as the planet swings back out into the darkness of space. HD 189733b is a gas giant located about 63 light years away from Earth. Its atmosphere has a deep blue azure color due to the silicate particles in its atmosphere. So what's so scary about it? First of all, wind speeds on this planet can reach 8,690 kilometers per hour. That's two kilometers per second, or seven times the speed of sound. It's also very hot, as temperatures can reach over 900 degrees centigrade. But you want to know what's really scary? It literally rains molten glass sideways on the planet. And along with those brutally fast winds, anything caught in such a storm would likely be incinerated and sliced to shreds by the molten glass rain. While we're on the subject of Jupiter, researchers have recently found something weird happening in the gas giant's iconic Great Red Spot storm. This is the biggest and scariest storm in our solar system, and recently it just got wilder. The winds in Jupiter's Great Red Spot are getting faster, and astronomers were surprised because nobody has ever seen anything like this before. The massive storm, which is a vortex bigger than the Earth itself, has ominous red clouds that spin counterclockwise at speeds in excess of 643 kilometers per hour. Zooming back out into the universe at 489 light years from Earth, there sits a hellish world. This is Korot 7b, which is 1.5 times the size of Earth, but sits 60 times closer to its parent star than we do from our Sun. Just imagine for a moment the Sun 360 times larger in the sky. On the planet's tidally locked day side, it can reach a blistering 2,593 degrees centigrade, which is hot enough to melt and vaporize solid rock. Some researchers say that Korot 7b could also have boiling oceans and lava. However, the other half of the planet facing away from the star is a bitter cold that can reach a frosty minus 235.6 degrees centigrade. If you've ever been lucky enough to see a blood moon in Earth's skies, then just imagine a planet with not one, but six bright red blood moons in its sky. We're talking about the planet TRAPPIST-1b. This planet is thought to be a rocky world like planet Earth, but has an extreme temperature of 1,220 degrees centigrade. Those moons we're talking about are actually the other six large worlds in the TRAPPIST system that reflect light, and three of those lie in the system's habitable zone but from the surface of TRAPPIST-1b, they would look like moons in the sky. Two of those planets are thought to have liquid water, and TRAPPIST-1b would have water in vapor form. It's said that some of these planets could hold some kind of alien life. By the way, we've got a really great video on the TRAPPIST system. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. What video of terrifying planets would be complete without our solar system's own Venus? They say that the planet could pass for Earth's evil twin. It's about the same size, has roughly the same rocky layers, and billions of years ago, it could have been habitable. However, a runaway greenhouse effect turned Venus into a hellish world where the atmosphere would crush you and is hot enough to melt lead. Not only that, but it actually rains big steaming drops of sulfuric acid. From space, Venus looks innocent enough, but at the surface, it's a scene from a nightmare. 
Just enough sunlight filters through the thick atmosphere that casts a dull orange glow over a jagged volcanic landscape. And that atmosphere bears down with a pressure 90 times greater than on Earth, and the air is a blistering 460 degrees centigrade. We hope you enjoyed this video. Which one of these places do you think was the scariest place to be? Let us know and tell us what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching.